Hi, I'm the Dragonator, and I like fairy tales. Now, I don't remember exactly how long ago I was introduced to LibriVox and as a result Project Gutenberg, but I remember my first audiobook. It was The Reluctant Dragon by Kenneth Graham and read by Mark F. Smith, link below. If you want to read it, it can be found on Project Gutenberg as well. It is part of what seems to be a collection of short stories called Dream Days. It also has an audiobook if you want to listen to the whole thing. It's a little different from the standalone audiobook, but it's not my much. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to the story. Once upon a time, there was a boy. He doesn't have a name, so we'll move on. He has both his parents, though they don't have names either. The boy's father is a shepherd, and one day, his sheep were going nuts about a cave nearby. He went to check it out and saw a beast with wings, scales, and claws. It's just a dragon, said the boy. Just a dragon, exclaimed the father. Just a dragon. Yeah, answered the boy. I'll go talk to him tomorrow and ask where he came from and where he's going. The next morning he did just that. The boy found out from the dragon that he was underground after an earthquake. But after a long, long time, he became bored and went back up to where one could see the sky. The world wasn't quite the same as it was when the earthquake first happened, with the lack of dragons and all that. But he has rather enjoyed human things, particularly poetry. He'd rather make and read poems than capture damsels or eat sheep any day. While the boy's parents got along with the dragon well, when the rest of the town found out about the dragon, they all agreed eventually the dragon had to be killed. Someone told St. George, so he rode to town with much fanfare. As soon as the boy heard of it, he had to tell the dragon. I can't fight, said the dragon. I don't want to. The boy had to tell St. George the truth about the dragon. He knew the town loves a good fight, so the knight heard horror stories of the beast in the cave. The boy assured him that the townsfolk were placing bets already on who would win. It could be a fair fight unless the dragon was an actual threat and not just an excuse for yet another dog fight in the town square. After pondering all this, the saint followed the boy to the dragon, who heard so much about the knight. They came to an agreement that the dragon would fight, but not kill or be killed. Not like it could, since he hadn't had the opportunity to breathe fire in a long time. Everyone dressed their best the next morning. All bets were set in stone, and the fight was to begin. There were three rounds. After the first, the dragon seemed to show off and forget the plan. After the second, it seemed more of a friendly rivalry than the proper fight. The third ended in the dragon's fake defeat. The townsfolk asked the knight if he was going to behead the dragon, and St. George said, Nah. Later, the dragon announced that he was reformed, quote, unquote, a banquet was held, and everyone lived happily ever after. So, the moral of the story? Don't lie to get what you want, don't judge a book by its cover, and appreciate a good poem every once in a while. That's all for today. Have a good day, and I'll see you next fairy tale speed paint where it might be not a choice for February, but it'll work. Trust me.